Do you love drawing and do you have an excellent sense of design? Do you love architecture? Are you good at maths? Have you lots of enthusiasm and imagination? If you have answered yes to these questions, then the occupation of an architect may be for you. Architects design new buildings as well as extensions or alterations to existing ones. They advise on the restoration and conservation of old properties. They use their specialist knowledge of construction and their drawing skills to design buildings that are safe, sustainable, functional and aesthetically pleasing. At the beginning of a new project, the architect meets with the client to discuss their requirements. The architect asks detailed questions about what the client wants and what the budget for the project is. Aspects such as the function of the building and needs of those who will use the building are discussed. The architect creates a building design and detailed drawings. These may be done by hand or by using specialist computer design software. The architect liaises with construction professionals to discuss the feasibility of the project. Matters such as town planning legislation, environmental impact issues and budget constraints are factored into the plans. Some architects specialize in green building. This involves designing buildings to minimize the environmental impact and to ensure that the energy conservation capabilities of the building are maximized. The architect presents the designs and plans to the client for consideration and approval. Building plans then need to be passed by the relevant municipal authorities. Once this has happened, the projects can go ahead. The architect provides the construction team with detailed plans to use. When construction is underway, the architect visits the site to check progress and inspect the work. This also ensures that the project is running according to schedule and budget. Architects are often involved throughout the construction process. They adapt the plans according to budget constraints, should they arise or to client needs. As such, they function as part of the overall project team. They work in collaboration with a range of construction professionals during this time. Architects are primarily office-based, but they do conduct out-of-office visits to both clients and building sites. They work closely with other specialists such as civil engineers, construction managers, quantity surveyors, architectural technologists and interior designers. The South African Council for the Architectural Profession, or SACAP for short, is the statutory body that regulates the architectural professions in this country. Therefore, a recognized degree in architecture is required to enter this profession. After graduation, the prospective architect works towards attaining professional status. To get this accreditation, a candidate architect must fulfill the statutory requirements set out by SACAP. Only SACAP registered architects may practice. A newly qualified architect usually joins a practice as an employee. Promotion depends on skill, competence level and experience of the individual. Some may become associates and, eventually, partners in a firm. Others set up their own practices. Some architects specialize in a specific area of architecture, like the restoration and conservation of heritage buildings, for example.